It is now time for you to test what you have learned with a simulated customer. This is for practice and to provide you with the feel of how a conversation might go with an actual customer. First, let me introduce you to our customer, My724 Stores. My724 Stores is what we consider a white space account. They have been a good customer, but have little or no HP technology. You've been selling them IBM X-Series servers over the years. However, now you are trying to convince them to move from Lenovo, which has purchased the IBM X86 server business, to HP. The good news is they have expressed interest in finding another vendor. You need to have the confidence and understanding of how to open the conversation, be able to detect their feelings about what has happened quickly, and have an initial strategic conversation. You will likely not be selling products in this meeting, but you will have some difficult questions you will have to respond to. You're going to be meeting with Barry Harris, the head of IT for My724 Stores. You met Barry in the Executive Center. My724 Stores is an up-and-coming convenience store gasoline retailer in the southeastern U.S. The company is privately owned. They have 30 stores now operating and are growing at 20% plus rate. They service customers in regional areas, suburbs, and on some freeway routes across the southeast, providing small restaurants, general stores, and gasoline. Through its store network, My724 Stores Inc. conducts more than 18 million transactions a year, generating sales of approximately 160 million. Barry is very pressed for time, but feels he needs to speak with you to understand your recommendations. He told me he is back to back for the next two weeks, so he could only give us a short meeting slot. To help you out, I've already been speaking with him about what he plans to do, either stay with Lenovo or move to another vendor. He told me that he is uncomfortable with the switch and feels that IBM has let him down by selling off the technology. He has been an IBM supporter for 30 years. This is unfortunate, as he also feels that there are certain security risks associated with this new identity for the X-Series. I asked him about his thoughts regarding HP, and he told me that he is on the fence about going with Cisco, Dell, or HP. But since you have been their partner one partner for so long, he would like to hear what you have to say. One small caveat, he told me you sold him pretty well in the X-Series, and now you've changed your story. At a point during the meeting, I will hand control over to you to answer Barry's questions. This will give you a chance to make him feel comfortable. I will return after the meeting to provide a debrief and some advice if needed. So if you're ready, let's join the meeting. On the surface, I'm a little bit concerned with what has happened. And I've told you this before. There are some very big security risks associated with this change. It has me and my team quite uncomfortable and losing sleep at night. For the immediate time, we're okay. We're pretty heavily invested in the X-Series systems and storage, and we have branch systems at every store, some Blade and some Rad, and hundreds of servers here at corporate. Now, the Cisco guys, they've been in, and they're telling us that we have to watch out. Come on, you know the hype. But, you know, I can see that there's some hiccups in this roadmap already. I mean, we like what Cisco offers as we use their technology for networking. Although I'm disappointed in their recent results, and they are expensive, we like doing business with your company, and you've been our partner for many years. But I must say, if you think I'm going to keep buying the X-Series from you, it, it just may not happen that way. But what I'd like to know is what else can you do for me and why should I consider making a change with you? Now, I'm sorry to be so blunt, but that's just the way it is. With our growth, I cannot disrupt business because our provider decided to disrupt theirs. Barry, I appreciate your frank talk, and I know our team will as well. As you probably suspect, you are not our only customer that has expressed this concern. And to tell you the truth, we felt the same way. We thought long and hard about what to do, reviewed all the different vendors' offerings, and have decided that HP is the supplier for us. Hmm. Okay, so now you want me to move with, to HP with you. Now, I remember a year ago, you just told me that HP was a poor choice and that the X-Series was superior in technology and it was the best price. So why should I trust you? First of all, my responsibility is to you as our customer first, and since I want to keep working with you, I wanted to present some ideas to you that we haven't really discussed in detail before, such as what HP can do for density-optimized environments, 
how you can save in power and cooling and potentially get more diverse workloads out of the same or smaller investments. Basically, do more for less. Okay, I'm, I'm interested and, and I'm willing to discuss this. You know, those issues are always on my mind. But before we go there, you tell me, why should I go with HP over what, what I currently have or Cisco? Now it's your turn to take over the meeting. You will need to respond to Barry's question and make him feel comfortable with making a change. I suspect if you accomplish that, he will want to know about the technology that you can provide as well. Good luck.